Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So CompTIA has just announced that they're going to be releasing the new version of the Security Plus exam, the Security Plus 701 version in November of 2023. CompTIA releases a new version of the Security Plus exam every three years. So the Security Plus 601 version will officially be retired on July 1st of 2024. So you'll still have a good amount of time to take the 601 exam. Uh, you have until July of 2024. But once the 701 version is released in November of this year, you'll have the option to take either one. And in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through the main differences that we'll see between the 601 and the 701 exam. We'll go over the exam objectives, we'll go over the exam costs and the format, and lastly, we'll go over the actual changes that I've seen from reading the 601 objectives and the 701 objectives. Now, if you guys find any value in this video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you are new for more cybersecurity related content. But with that being said, I went ahead and prepared a small presentation for you guys going over this entire video. So let's go ahead and hop into my computer right now and see what's going on. All right, you guys, so welcome to the inside of my computer. We have my presentation pulled up right over here. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the main differences uh, between the two. So first off, let's go over the exam format. You're not going to see any changes between the exam format. It's going to be the exact same number of questions. You're going to have the exact amount of time uh, to complete the exam just as before. And also the passing score is going to be the exact same. You need to get at least 750 out of uh, 900 points in order to pass the exam. On top of that, you're also going to face the same type of questions. You'll have multiple choice. Um, you'll have PBQs, performance-based questions, and also um, those drag-and-drop kind of questions within the PBQs. And then also the exam cost is going to be the same, uh, 392 But one way to get around that hefty price is either to have your employer pay for it or you can use a student discount um, and get a voucher that way. So there are going to be some pretty big changes in terms of the exam domains for the 601 and the 701. So... Right now, you can see on the left side, we have a 601. There was a large emphasis on threats, attacks, vulnerabilities, and also uh, the technologies and tools. But on the right side, you can see there's been a, light, a slight shift. There's going to be a lot more emphasis on security operations at 28%, followed by the threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations at 22%. So as you guys can see, um, CompTIA has sort of rebalanced their, their weights in terms of the domains. Um, now they have more focus on different things than the 601 exam. And the reason why they do that is because obviously, you know, releasing these exams in a three year period, um, there's going to be a lot new, a lot more technology. Um, cybersecurity is always changing. So you always need to pivot, um, and also adapt to the different attacks, to the different technology that's introduced into cybersecurity. So that's the reasoning for these uh, different weights um, within these different domains. Uh, let's go over sort of the main changes that I've seen um, in terms of just the test in general. So the first thing that I saw was that we'll see a shift towards practical skills assessments. Um, so you'll see more of those type of questions on the 701 exam. This could be anything like labs and things of that nature. Um, on top of that, you'll see more PBQs. So this could be a pro or a con, depending on your strengths and weaknesses. Um, I know for me, when I was taking the 601 exam, um, I think the, the PBQs were relatively straightforward in my opinion. Um, so for me, if I had a choice between, between the 601 or the 701, this would be something that I would really consider uh, basing my decision off of. Uh, the reason for that is because they really wanna place an emphasis on practical skills and really putting your technical knowledge to the test. It's gonna be called emphasis on specific commands and cybersecurity tools. So this is pretty much going hand in hand with the PBQs and the labs in which that you may need to know some form of uh, command line uh, programming uh, skill, maybe on a basic level. Um, also, maybe having some kind of knowledge in terms of operating a um, cybersecurity tool, whether it be you know, a firewall software program, whether it be a EDR, whether it be a SIEM, uh, things of that nature that you may need, you may need to have um, sort of a basic uh, foundational knowledge of how to use. Let's go ahead and talk about the actual differences that I've seen uh, from looking at both the 601 objectives and the, also the 701 objectives. I went ahead and broke up each of these domains that we'll see in the 701 exam for the first domain, the general security concepts. Um, I know in the, on the 601 exam, uh, they do have the zero trust model 
But the reason why I still listed it uh, here on this table is because I believe the 701 is going to go a little bit more in depth um, with these little reoccurring terms that you'll also see in the 601. So some of these are going to be completely new, and some of these are some of these terms are seen before on the 601, but you may delve deeper into it on the 701 exam. So, so for for domain number one, we have gap analysis, uh, zero trust model, deception and disruption technologies, and open public ledger. Um, open public ledger, I did not see on the 601 exam objectives. So moving on to uh, number two, threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations. Um, you'll see more about attributes of threat actors, new motivations. Like I said before, the CompTIA Security Plus is looking to adapt um, to the newer times with these newer versions, obviously. Uh, we also have vulnerability types and also analysis of indicators. Security architecture, we have infrastructure as code. We have serverless microservices, IOT, Internet of Things, um, ICS slash SCADA, um, RTOS, and security implications. So these are all things that you may need to look into a little bit further, a little bit deeper down on the 701 exam, because I know on the 601, we also had IAC, we also had microservices um, and IOT. Uh, serverless and the other uh, acronyms right there at the bottom, um, and security implications, I don't 100% uh, remember if it was on the 601 exam, so that might be something to look into. Um, number four for the exam domains, we have security operations, um, security baselines, hardening targets, wireless devices, um, automation and orchestration, and data sources. One of the main things that I see here with these new terms are going to be automation and orchestration. Um, that was something that I did not see on the 601 exam. Make sure you guys check out domain number four on the exam objectives. I'll leave a link to all the exam do uh, domains and the objectives in the description below if you guys want to check it out yourself. Lastly, we have the security program management and oversight. This goes over third-party risk management and security awareness practices. Make sure you guys read over the exam objectives for whatever uh, version you're taking. That is going to be a huge part of the studying uh, for these different exams. One other thing that I wanna plug in here, guys, is that if you guys are studying for the six, uh, 601 uh, Security Plus exam, I went ahead and made a complete video walking you guys through exactly what I did to pass the Security Plus exam in nine days using ChatGPT. I'll also leave a link in the description below. Also, if you want a copy of my Security Plus notes, I'll leave a link in the description below as well. But that is pretty much it for this video. It's gonna be relatively straightforward and pretty short. Um, I just wanna walk you guys through uh, what to expect for the new version of the Security Plus exam. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.